Yep. Uh, next gen, the safety of the next gen car is the, the hot topic. Mm -hmm. I guess probably the season. And it seems, uh, curious what your experience is with that is and how are you feeling in an accident and, and, and from safety are you concerned? And everything else? I'm concerned. I think everyone's concerned right now. I don't see how you would not be. Um, you know, when you look at your competitors and your own experiences being brutal in comparison to what the old car was, yeah, yeah, he gets gonna, he's gonna raise an eye. Um, you know, just to, you know, you look at some of the, the, the things that happen, right? The Kurt situation, um, you, you hear about some of the wrecks from this last weekend, uh, my experiences at Charlotte and Michigan at the test, like those things are, that's real. You can't hide from that. <laughs> um, I've put a lot more time into that stuff lately than, than I used to with the old car. There must be a reason for it. Is the response from NASCAR the level you'd like it at? Um, uh, I, not until it's fixed, no. Not until it's fixed. Um, you know, so I think that takes time. Um, it's frustrating to ruin this position in the first place. Um, but it doesn't seem like everything's added up quite yet to really make the best decisions yet. And I think that's kind of the position that, that we are in as a sport is how do we, what, what, are the, what are the things that's making this car hurt more when you wreck? Um, and what is a reasonable fix? And is there quick fixes or are they fixes that have to happen over time? Uh, and there's a little bit of both to those, for sure. And, you know, the quick fixes is just making sure your, your cocoon is correct. You know, your, your head surrounds, your, the stuff that you can control at Team Penske. How do I make that better? I've put more time into my headrest lately than, than I ever have. Can you expand uh, upon that a little bit? Like, you know, just trying to understand, like, you know, it, from everything we learned, gap is really bad. So any, time, any gap you have from your headrest is, is what you know, kind of gives you momentum into it. And that's what sh you're shaking your head. Um, and so trying to close that gap, but being able to still maneuver and race, um, you know, so just trying to close that stuff up in the most efficient way and different types of foams and things like that um, to work with to try to have achieve comfort, but better safety. Did you think, uh, do you think that it's just a coincidence that it seems to be more drivers talking about the issue now? Or maybe it's became it came to light more when with Kirk's accident, or has it been something that's really it's, been around since the beginning of the season? It's been around the whole time. It's been around before the car even hit the racetrack. Um, but it's just exposed to you guys now <laughs> because there's a driver sitting out right yeah. now, right? Obviously, yeah. it's, it's exposed now. Um, you know that that's probably the the biggest thing. It's it's been a talk for the whole time. Yeah. It's, it's September now, we've got 26 races with this car, in addition to testing and everything. Is it frustrating that we're at this point, um, at least to us, there doesn't seem to be any changes or anything made? Um, I mean, there, there's been changes made, right? And, and some things fairly quickly, some things have taken some time, you know, and, and some of them that we didn't know were issues until it happened. Right, the, the fire thing, right, with the exhaust pipe getting knocked into the rocker and all that stuff and car catching on fire. Oh, didn't see that one coming, you know, like that's a new one. And there's a quick fix to that. Cool. All right, got it. Is it completely fixed or is it band aid? It's probably a band aid for now. We probably can make it even better still, but it's, it's better than not doing anything, right? And there, there's a lot of things like that you can look at with these cars and say, okay, the rear clip's too stiff. Obviously, they are. Um, that's not an easy fix. Right, they, we've already softened up the clips one time before the season started with cutting slots in it and all that. Um, right, and we still don't think we've gone far enough, obviously. Um, so, you know, the next step is not a quick, easy fix of just cutting slots in the chassis. Right, like it, it changes a lot um, in positioning of where things are. Uh, so it's not an easy, an easy quick fix. Um, so you just kind of got what you got for a few weeks until they can come up with a, an answer that's right for everybody, right? Because here's the bottom line too, guys. Safety is expensive, <laughs> right? Like yeah. I, I hate saying that, but it's true. It's true. Joey, how do you make peace with the idea of getting in the car week after week, knowing that there are, you know, some of these issues out there? Like I said, I mean, I, I do everything I can before I get in the car to feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the things that I can control. 
is, is our car not safe? I'm not saying it's not safe. I'm saying it's not as safe as the old car was, though, in some ways. In other ways, it's safer than the old car, right? You look at intrusion, nothing's, I don't see anything getting inside the car as easily as the old car. So, you know, as far as rolling over and the cage crushing on your head, I feel way, way, way better about that situation. Um, which I lived that one in the old car and it was bad. <laughs> yeah. So I feel great about that. So any intrusion, I think we're in a better shape. It's the, so I think that the top 10% of the wrecks, you know, the big hard ones and the intrusion issues, I feel much better about that. Uh, it's the everyday hits that are, are more severe than they used to be. So it depends on how you want to look at it. Yeah. Do you feel it's inevitable that somebody's playoff hopes uh, kind of maybe dwindle due to a everyday hit like that with this uh, new car? I don't think so. I don't think so. But I mean, it can happen, right? It already, it already happened for Kurt, unfortunately. So it can happen. Uh, you, you would never rule it out. But I really, really pray to God that's not the case for anybody. 